Introducing the Draper Semi-Automatic Tire Changer Although this is a long video, we feel it's important to clearly and carefully demonstrate each step for you, allowing you to operate the machine confidently and safely. This product is shipped in a wooden crate and pallet, so make sure you have suitable equipment to lift and move the unit. Start by removing the outer crate and undo the four bolts securing the machine to the pallet. Position the machine making sure there's adequate access around it and secure it to a firm level floor using suitable fixings. It's strongly advised that airline and electrical connections are carried out by qualified technicians. For efficient use, the installation must be done properly, so make sure a suitably qualified person checks the installation. Assemble and secure the complete swing arm assembly to the machine housing. Finally, connect the tyre inflator, airline and power supply connections. With the installation complete, I'm going to demonstrate how efficient and easy this machine is to use. If you're unsure of anything, you can always refer to the detailed instruction manual supplied. Before we start, this demo is on a standard wheel and tyre. If your vehicle is fitted with TPMS or a non-standard rim, you must check with the vehicle or wheel manufacturer before you begin. Start by deflating the tyre and if necessary, remove the valve core. By the way, Draper also offer a selection of tyre valve tools. Always ensure that the tyres are deflated before removal, especially if the wheel's fitted with a TPMS system. Remove any existing balancing weights from the wheel rim. Position the wheel between the machine and bead braking plate, making sure the bead breaker plate rests between the wheel rim and tyre, not directly in contact with the rim. Holding the bead breaker handle, depress the bead braking pedal to release the tyre bead from the rim. Guide the plate past the rim, rotating the wheel through 180 degrees until the bead is completely detached. Remove the wheel and repeat the process on the opposite side of the tyre. Before mounting the wheel on the turntable, apply some tyre lubricant around the tyre bead. This will help with removal. Carefully place the wheel onto the self-centering turntable. Press the closing pedal down to adjust and lock the wedges in place against the inside or outside of the rim, whichever suits the wheel type. Always check the wheel or vehicle manufacturer's preferred method of wheel clamping. Plastic protectors are supplied for use on alloy wheels. Gently position the head and sliding roller onto the edge of the rim, locking it in place. The ideal gap is 3mm, but swinging arm adjustment can be made by turning this hand wheel. Using the tyre lever, hook the tyre bead over this tongue by levering the lever against the head. Don't lever against the wheel rim, as this may bend or fracture fragile alloy wheels. Rotate the wheel by pressing the rotation pedal down and keeping it going until the tyre bead is completely off the rim. Repeat the procedure for the lower second bead. Now's a good time to check the condition of the inner rims and if necessary clean off any loose corrosion or dirt. Prepare the new tyre or repair any known punctures. It's also a good idea to insert a new tyre valve at this stage, unless the vehicle's fitted with a combined valve or TPMS sensor. Lubricate all the way around both beads on the new tyre and don't forget the wheel rim too. Place the tyre on the wheel rim checking for any directional or rotational arrows marked on the tyre and any markings to denote the part of the tyre that should be next to the valve, normally indicated by a yellow dot on the sidewall. Move the head and sliding roller back into position. Locate the tyre bead onto the edge of the head, but under the tongue this time. Press the rotation pedal and using both hands, push the tyre down to ensure the bead slips into the rim's central groove. This will avoid weakening the bead. Watch your fingers though. If you struggle to fit the bead correctly, lift the rotation pedal to reverse the turntable direction and try again. Repeat the process on the second tyre bead, ensuring the tyre valve is correctly aligned with the sidewall dot if required. Once the tyre is fitted, unlock and move the swinging arm out the way. Lower the open close pedal to release the locking wedges and remove the wheel from the turntable. Bounce the wheel on the floor while rotating it to make sure the tyre is seated correctly. Now attach the tyre inflator to the valve. Inflate the tyre and ensure it pops back onto the rim all around and on both sides. 
then inflate it to the correct pressure. With the tyre fitted, don't forget the wheel must be balanced before it's used. For more information, refer to our instruction manual available online, and why not watch our wheel balancing video next?